Nova, could you please- where are you? Could you please tell your roommate, Sarah, to stop sneaking up behind her server with frog smell? It's seriously getting on my nerves. Yeah, I've tried that before. Well, try harder because it's giving me a headache and I'm not the only one. The last one ended with everyone trying to make that. me go on a date with her. I really don't want to do that again. I- uh, Don't, don't ask. Don't, don't I, ask. Do not ask. I won't. I, I won't. <sighs> You know, now that you're here, I read this book the other day that talked about, like, hybrids and stuff, and it mentioned that dragon hybrids are supposed to have wings, but I've never seen Ryu with wings. That's a long story. We've got time. Okay, well, I suppose. And a long time ago, I was a carefree person. Ryu was too. In those days, Ryu still had his wings. He would soar the sky, and I would watch. However, one day that changed. The god room was attacked. I don't really remember by who. I do, however, remember looking for Ryu. When I found him, it was too late. His wings had been ripped from his body, and all that was left were two deep wounds. Where his wings once were. I tried everything. Magic spell books. Heck, I even asked Zeus himself to fix it. To which he said no one should be out. I was running out of ideas. I just wanted Ryu to be happy. I remember visiting him one night. I told him about my failed attempts, and he asked me why I was trying so hard. I had asked him what he meant, and he just looked at me and smiled. He told me that there were some things that you just can't get back. But it took me a long time he was right. After all, everything that's broken can't just be fixed. Ryu is going to have to live with those scars for the rest of his life, as I have with my own and everyone else with theirs. Oh. Gosh, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I didn't know. Hey, don't be saying sorry to me. Be saying sorry to Ryu. I know, but still, that's gotta, that's gotta suck. I... It really does. I mean, wings are dragons hybrids pride and joy i mean their biggest asset yeah. so to lose them is like losing your pride your dignity your self-worth and there's no way at all to get them back there's no hope nope. as i said before once something is broken it can't be fixed i don't i don't really know what to say I, this is... well i mean i don't blame you i didn't really know how to talk to ryu when he first lost his wings still don't know really how to talk to him now about it. Well, I mean, it's it doesn't... Not like he wants to talk about it, really. I mean, he also doesn't remember you, so. Uh, I'd pick to differ on that front. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he remembers you a little bit, but he doesn't really remember all of it. I don't. Maybe not all yet, but. I don't know what he doesn't, doesn't remember that. anymore. I lost track a long time ago. I. I've lost track of a lot of things, you know? A little scatterbrains here and there, but, you know. Yeah, I can tell. His eye bags in your eyes to say anything about it. Anyways, what's the deal with this skulk lying around? I don't know. That's totally unintentional, and I... Mm -hmm. Just kind of things just happened. You know, out of all the people's houses that I've seen it infect, you were probably the... Well, you were in the middle of my list, but you're not the last. First, your little bunny friend Fusa has something going on. Now your house is getting covered in skulk. Funny how Penny's house, Ryan's house, and anyone else's hasn't been covered. Well, I guess technically Sarah's has, because, well, you're two of roommates. Heaven forbid that girl would stop brewing potions at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit in the Zen garden for a bit because otherwise I'm gonna fall asleep again. I'm already halfway there. You know, you could just, I don't know, sleep in your bed. That's what beds are made for, you know? I'm not tired. I'm just like, that's not what I mean when I say sleep, you know? I don't mean like, literally I'm falling asleep. I just mean that I don't really, I just forget what I'm doing and have these like- It's called relaxing instead of sleeping, okay? Good, great. Now I feel, excuse me, I have to go meet Ryu because heaven forbid that boy needs sleep. He keeps building. <laughs> Good luck. Oh 
are you still here? You know, everyone else has left already. I... I don't know. I guess it's just weird that you're physically here. I don't know. Yeah, I know that's gonna take some getting used to, but till Ryu gets better, I'm gonna have to be here. Yeah, I mean, we can take care of him. I know, and I'm not saying I don't trust you, it's just I feel better being here while he's getting better, you know? Yeah. As long as it doesn't see me, that is. <laughs> I can have that. What? Why not? It's not the right time. He's still recovering from getting his memories back, and now with Cybal, you know, torturing them to hell, probably. It's just not a great idea to add on to the trauma that he's already faced. Maybe another time I could show myself to him and we could reunite, but not while he's still, you know, hurt. Maybe when we escape. Maybe. If that ever does happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. I'm not gonna not let it happen. <laughs> you know, I somehow knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> you know, you're almost as stubborn as Ryu sometimes. Is that a compliment or not? Take it how you want it, I guess. <laughs> Either way, I just... I don't understand how things keep getting in, how people keep getting in this damn server. First, someone messes with the code. The next thing, we have this <laughs> group named the Kylists that comes in and... Apparently has been coming in for a while that I just haven't recognized yet. People that were here before just <laughs> disappeared one day. Honestly, I thought they logged off. Apparently that's not the case with the Kylestis being here. We no <laughs> Cybo's here. He <laughs> kidnapped Ryu and injured him. <sighs> God, what does this ever come to? I think the truth is just that you don't really have as much control here as you thought you did. I think you've been fooled just the same as the rest of us have been. I mean, obviously we didn't come here on purpose, but I think they probably wanted you to think that you were in control so that you wouldn't try to stop them. They've manipulated us too, or I guess me, but you know, I don't really want to talk about that right now. They want to save you. They're doing a lot of bad things to us and possibly to other people too. The only problem is we just don't know enough to be able to put up a fight. I mean, working on a plan to escape is like the only thing I can do right now. It's weird. It's well, you know what they say, you can't always get what you want. Life is not always a straight, easy game that you can just play. It's you can't always just get everything that you want just because you want it. There's always a price to pay. You know, but what is the price to pay to get us out? I don't know what I'm supposed to, to do. I've tried everything. Honestly, at this rate, I hate to say this, I really, really do because as much as I don't say this enough, I really do care about you and everyone else on here. I see you all as friends. Well, Mayu maybe not as much as friends, maybe like best friends, but I hate to say it, but I think what it's really going to take to get us out of here, to get you all out of here, is a sacrifice. Someone has to die to save the others. Yeah, that's... that's kind of what I'm hitting too. The real question is, who's willing to sacrifice their life to save the many others that are on the server? I don't know how much you'll like this. But I actually have a plan. I'm working on oh, it right God. now. Oh god. Yeah, I know. I can't tell you what it is yet because there are, in fact, how do I say this delicately? You are not the only person watching me, and the other person that is would kill to know what I'm up to. And I can't let any of this slip. No, no, no! Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. You see, I've actually written your files now. I've. Just, I've gone back and read them. Lipso, right? Don't say that name. Don't say that name. She could be here. She might be able to hear you. Honey, she's already here, probably. She is. Yeah, she's done. Things. I mean, I hasn't she sent that one note that one time that I thought did. was Lily that maybe sent it? Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. I do have a, a plan involving all of that. Because the thing is, everyone else here has something to go back to. They have people waiting for them. Ryu has you and his family. Penny has her their adventures wherever they're going. Sunny has Kana and Kalodia. Sarita has something. I don't know what the hell's happening with Sarita, but you know. I don't have anything. No, no. family to go back to? Not, Not even a pet cat or something? No. No. I have nothing to go back to that would really care to, to see me again. And I think of all the people 
too sacrificed themselves for this, it would make the most sense for it to be me. I have nothing to lose, but everyone else has everything to lose. I'm... I'm not really that upset about it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with this being it. Well, I don't know how the others are going to react to your proposition, but... Well, they don't ever have to know. But well, you think I was going to tell them? No. Look, I'm telling you this right now. At least tell one of them. Don't make me be the bearer of bad news that you sacrificed yourself to save them, Let please. Let them think it was an accident. Let them think it wasn't supposed to happen. Let them think I didn't plan it. But what if it's not an accident? It was never going to What if it doesn't accident? look that way? I have a plan, Lucius. Just trust me. I have a plan to make it look like it was never supposed to happen. Like, I was planning to leave with them the whole time. Like, I wasn't planning on dying finally here and now. I just let them think it was an accident. And what about that promise that you made to Ryu? He'll move on. He'll have you. Great, so you're gonna put his pain all on my shoulders. No, I'm Fantastic. No, I- Well, what do you propose I do instead? What, you're right, one of us has to die. Who do you think it should be if it's not gonna be me? You know Although what? I'm the admin of this server, and you know what they say, the captain always goes down with the ship. No, I can't let you do that. You have a life to go back to. I'm losing right. life to go back to, really. Ryu's right, really my only friend. I don't have any family. I guess you could say that my family is the little gremlins that I teach that are named demigods. But then again, I don't think they'd really miss me that much. Ezra and Ryze don't seem to be the type that would go for revenge after, you know, my death. They'd probably just cry about it for a week and then forget about it and move on. I really don't think As for Ryu, well, hmm. Yeah. I mean, he has his family. He has his brothers and sister, and he has demigods that he's also became friends with over the years. I thought they could care of him, but I'm saying that it's not you that has to die. Look, Ryu really values you as a friend, from what I've seen. The others value you as someone to respect and be friends with, but Serena may be in her own light, but still, either way. You are cared for by people here. You have a family to come back to. You have people here that care about you. It may not be a biological family, but you have a family of friends who care about you. How can you just abandon them like that? I value their lives more than I value their friendship. I'd rather they hate me than die. If I have to hurt them to keep them alive, then I'm willing to do that. And I know that's selfish, but I, I cannot stand by and let anybody else take this, this sacrifice. I have the ability to do it, I'm not losing anything, and they get to go home and be with their families and move on. I would so much rather that be reality than anything else. And I can't find a way to survive this and get everyone out alive. I've, I've tried. There's nothing. Maybe I shouldn't have told you this. Maybe it would have been better if I just kept my mouth shut. You know, I've told you once before that there is a way to get out where no one has to die. Just, you have to get ready to remember. You can build a barrier on the server, you all could be free, you could live with everyone else. But that's part of the plan. The thing is, like, I need to set something up to channel his magic into the barrier to break it, because since it's metaphysical, he can't just, like, throw a bomb at the sky and hope it works. There has He has to channel it directly into the code itself. And I have the ability to build that, but you know who is kind of... There's things preventing me from doing that. Like what? Well, I can't tell you that. That's the thing. Is Again, if she knows what I'm talking about. Right, right, right. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. She, you know, I can do it, but it most likely will end up killing me in the end. Maybe... Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll survive. I, it's not like a 100% certain thing that I'm gonna die, but it's it's the most likely outcome. Well, even if you were to die, if you were to go through this plan, I would still say to at least talk to one of them. Or maybe at least write them notes before you leave to go do this. Sure, making them hate you might work, but it won't work forever. Eventually they'll stop hating you after you die and it'll be harder to move on. Maybe write them notes that they'll find later at, when it comes to that point. If you are gonna go and die, that is. Give them something, a letter of reassurance to not hate you for the rest of their lives, to move on. How do you explain this in a way that makes any sort of sense? How do you tell them, hey, sorry I sacrificed myself for you, but I hope you get to go home and have a happy life? Can't put that delicately. Then don't. Write what you feel. Write what you feel is right. If you're gonna go die anyways, why don't write them letters that are speaking from with your heart? Instead of trying to 
write it to make it all nice to try and make it not hurt their feelings. Don't let it be a facade. Everything's a facade. It's if you wanted me to be honest about anything, it's way too late for that. It was just a break. You don't take breaks. 